exercise for you but there are certain things you want to make sure you're doing correctly when you do this exercise so that you can move through your voice with a consistency and a power and an ease that's going to allow you agility and strength as you go higher so most people as they get higher they start to push more they start to feel start to feel tighter in here and we have problems First things first though, just to review, remember when you sing, always connect to your orange belly ball or your diaphragm, right? Second and third chakras. Make sure your throat is relaxed. But as you're getting higher, it's going to be, it's going to require you to have more support. Most people, when they sing high or as they're getting higher, they start to kind of freak out. And that can create some issues with your voice. The most important thing you can do is anchor your voice. And of course, I'm always talking about the core. I say, you know, sing from your core. And this is how. What I told her to do is to get low in her body and to imagine your yellow light or your solar plexus. Now for her, I did the solar plexus, but this can also work for the second chakra or what I call your orange belly ball. She happened to need the solar plexus. So that was the one we did. So what she did, was I told her that there is <laughs> to just imagine herself singing behind so right here for those of you that don't know the solar plexus it's the yellow sun in the belly just imagine he singing through your core imagine like yourself singing through that chakra and what that does is because it gets you lower in your body, right? It gets you anchored in your body. And so as the notes go higher and higher, you're still in that space within yourself. And when you're connected to yourself, your larynx isn't going to pull up as much. You're going to be, you're not going to have these outer muscles pull on your larynx. You're not going to have all these issues that people get when they sing higher because you're just coming from that place. Listen while I walk a student through this. Ready? Transfer your shoulders, but you have the right idea. Do it again without moving your shoulders, but you're great. but I still heard it. How is it feeling? It feels good. <laughs> Oh my 
Ende. Okay, you guys, so I'm going to emphasize the most important three things that Mia did to have success in this exercise. Number one, her mind was focused. Number two, her soul was easy going. That means she did not take herself too seriously. She was willing to get it wrong. Okay, so she's easy going. That lets the voice be free. And number three, her body was anchored. She anchored and we used, in her case, we used the solar plexus. And when you do this anchoring exercise, you'll be surprised at how much your body will support your voice and it will allow you to hit the notes that you want. Now, this doesn't happen out of the blue. You do need to do the other exercises before you get to this one. But that's the gist of it. Have fun with this. Don't take yourself too seriously. And I wouldn't recommend doing this without a coach. 